religions generally, you know, especially in modern postmodern society, religion is considered something personal. Like religion is, you know, in, in our constitution, for instance, we have the freedom of religion, and just like the freedom of speech, you know, and the freedom of choice, etc., etc. These freedoms that we enjoy in this country are because religion is a personal matter. So nobody can stop me from praying, and I can't stop somebody else from worshipping the devil if they want to. That's entirely up. If they want to believe in a God, their business. If they don't believe in no God, that's their business. Right? It's a free marketplace of ideas. And it's a personal thing. But you know, this understanding from the Qur'an and from the life of the Prophet ﷺ, it lends us to something. Islam isn't only concerned with yourself. If you're a Muslim, Islam is not just your personal business. Islam by definition needs to be shared. Islam by definition seeks to benefit others too. It seeks to. And if I'm a believer in Islam, then I cannot say my Islam is limited to myself. It doesn't affect anybody else. I don't have to do anything else but worry about myself. So long as I'm praying, so long as I go to Hajj, so long as I give some zakat, so long as I pray, I'm, I'm set. I don't have to worry about anybody else. That is not something our religion lets us do, by definition. It is at the core of it concerned with others. One of the most fundamental surahs of the Qur'an, that probably all of you know by heart, is Surah Al-Asr. Right? Surah Al-Asr, very short surah, very easy to memorize, most of you probably know it by heart. If Islam was just about yourself, it would be, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Full stop. If it was just about yourself, it would just be إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ But, we have إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And we have وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاصَوْ بِالصَّبْرِ That is necessarily engagement with others. That is necessarily sharing this religion and its goodness with others. So it is something that is inherent into our religion. And it's not something I have to prove to you. I mean, look around us. The fact that we're sitting in a masjid, the fact that there are volunteers recording this video, this is actually collective work. There are people that you know could just be sitting home and eating halal food and waiting for dhuhr and pray dhuhr and say, "Look, my Islam is done. I'm I'm not doing anything wrong." But you know, we're, we're, we we built community. We engaged ourselves in this kind of work, right? So there is something that inherently we appreciate about the struggle for this religion beyond ourselves.